let's say you're outside and your chickens are doing something cute and you run out there real quick with the camera but you left the uh you left it on inside mode well we can fix it just like that hey folks didn't mean to scare you there let's talk about color correction now if we bring up our um, inspector for the video properties nine times out of ten if you've shot halfway decent footage um, you can just come out here um, with your mouse pick a white point and click auto and you know this footage is gonna look you know if you look at the old versus new it's gonna look good and and you're gonna be all set um, and then you can just actually just Apple seed copy this and then paste those attributes for the video out to the other clips and then they'll all look the same if you bring up the the video inspector you'll see that you know all the levels are all the levels are same we have the same white point right here and and we're we're done okay now let's talk about the really bad footage this 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 footage was shot uh, in the shade in the wrong setting with a low exposure so it's never going to look as good as this no matter how much we color correct it you know we're going to have to give up something because there you know when you don't have it you can't you can't bring it we can make it look a lot better but it's never going to look as good now the first thing we're going to want to do is is bring all the tools we have to bear on this footage and to do that we need to open up iMovie preferences and turn on show advanced tools uh, now when we bring up the video inspector you'll see we have a few extra sliders let's talk about the sliders your left slider will adjust the black levels your right slider will adjust light tone levels exposure is your mid tone levels brightness is your shades your dark shades um, it'll basically pop the grays contrast is your color versus brightness saturation is is color versus black and white basically um, and you'll all you know if you're if you're looking to make that old-timey look footage I mean that's basically what you do is just jack out the saturation um, and the gains if you just want to push in you know one color or, or another you can you can use those okay what you're gonna want to do is using the histogram for the other footage as a guide you're gonna want to make this footage as close as you can to this footage um, you will, you'll have to adjust you know your all all the levels the saturation you might have to you know shift your um, you'll see because the the footage is so blue we have to sh we have to do a color shift over here to the you know yellow side of the spectrum and already the footage is looking a little better um, you know you might be able to use your white point marker to get a little closer and then start you know shifting your levels to try to make try to clean up that footage um, and then you might have to add a little color back to it to get it to, to start to look natural um, iMovie is a little bit limited so um, do the best you can I mean <clears throat> in uh, you know in Final Cut you actually can do this at all three points with your whites your mids your blacks and and you can get a lot cleaner uh, color correction uh, and with that being said I mean really the best is to, to just double check your histogram if you have one on your camera and and get it right get it right there so you don't have to do this you know because this footage was shot shot clean and with the right levels and it's just it's just a lot easier as always thanks for watching